welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for technical terms and the construction of floor beam so let's get start guys the span between these two column is 24 feet from this column to that column the length is 24 feet so let's get start guys guys you can see clearly the size of this floor beam is 18 by 12 inches you can see the size is 18 by 12 inches we have here four steel rods at the bottom and two at the top section of this beam as you can see the depth is 18 inches width is 12 inches we have four steel rods at the bottom which dia is 16 millimeter and three steel rods in upper portion of this beam look here guys we have four steel rods and this is 40 grade steel rods which length is 40 feet or 12 meter two side bars as you can see in upper portion dia is 16 mm but the middle rod dia is 12 millimeter this is 12 millimeter okay next guys we have some technical terms this is the stirrup dia is 8 millimeter okay and the spacing is about 8 inches hooks are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree to resist with earthquake and hooks should be provided alternately length of the hook should not be less than 3 inches this is one of the big mistake guys here in this construction especially for hooks as you can see this is the junction between beam and column they provided here lapping length so this is not the place to provide lapping so this is very important and this is the other technical term the first stirrup should be placed with the minimum thickness of 2 inches guys you can see so here the spacing of stirrups are 7 to 8 inches but this is equal it should not be equal that's why because at the distance of l by 4 we should provide the stirrups closely to resist negative bending moment or there we have more chances of cracks after l by 4 you can increase the spacing of stirrups because at the middle of the beam we have positive bending moment at the end of the beam we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment providing extra steel rods or bent up bar but they didn't provide any extra steel rods or bent up bar as you can see these two steel rods dia is 16 mm also the bottom steel rods dia is 16 mm but the middle rod dia is in upper portion of this beam which is 12 millimeter you can see guys they didn't provide any extra steel rods or bent up bar which is very important to provide extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment because this is commercial building which is about four story look here guys at the junction between beam and column we are providing side bars extra steel rods but unfortunately they didn't follow the steel structural drawing they just did this design by a steel fixer so therefore in the future they will face more problems after two to three years they will see the cracks especially at the junction between beam and column where we have negative bending moment guys you can see the spacing is same they didn't provide the extra steel rods or bent up bar but if they can't uh, afford the extra steel rods so they should provide bent up bar or crank bar which is economical so same steel reinforcement they will use for that look here guys also they provided lapping in the uh, bottom portion of this beam look here guys they provided the lapping so this is not the place to provide because this is the place to provide extra steel rods if you are working on construction site so specially learn the technical terms which are very helpful to know about the steel reinforcement details now guys you can see this is about uh, four feet cantilever beam the design is same as they did for simply supported beam they didn't provide any developing length at the end of this beam so therefore i'm telling you follow the steel structural drawing if you are going more than two story so you should hire the structural engineer to give you the structural drawing of rcc beam column slave foundation etc otherwise you will face more problems 
because this is the bone of the construction, especially the steel structural drawing. Hope this short video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.